The Tigers of Fort Hayes State still looking for their first points. As is Zabel, who misses her third three. But to have the green light, you love it. And as a freshman, when you're open and you're a shooter, you got to shoot it. From the free throw line extended, Brooke Levy sinks the first points of the game for Fort Hayes State. And now a steal by Levy. Scored the basket and takes it away at midcourt. Jen guards Levy. Nice screen and roll. Found Hollenbeck for the lay-in. A foul whistle. Ice Brady commits it. The third personal or the third team foul on UConn. When we come back, Jana L. Alfie hits the floor. She's just checked in and will make her debut with UConn. The Huskies up early in their exhibition with Fort Hayes State. Beckers, look at that. All new players. And Beckers, they've got to establish their identity. And then once they do that, they've got to do what Gino Arima has instilled in this program and just play UConn basketball. Gritty defense, be aggressive, share the ball, and attack offensively. You know, for this exhibition, we talk about the opportunity to see new players. It's also players returning to the floor. They've been really excited about seeing Jana L. Alfie in the UConn blue and white. She finally gets out there after the long recovery from her Achilles injury. I mean, she's been here a year and a half. She came early in January two years ago. Everyone was so excited for last season and then playing for Egypt. She ruptured her Achilles during the summer and that put her out all of last year. So it's exciting to see to see her finally playing. But remember, it's been a year and a half, two years since she played. She got a nice hand as they just introduced Jana L. Alfie. As you mentioned, Meg, a member of the Egyptian national team since 2021, where her dad is the coach. It's going to take a little while to get back into basketball playing shape. Alibet goes one for two. Al Alfie has a rebound. Jen trying to force it to her, and Hollenbeck jumps the lane for the takeaway. Yeah, a little quick pass there from Chen. you got to let Al Alfie get settled down low. Ellie Stearns checking in for Fort Hayes. Al Alfie gets around the screen defensively. Ernie hits Stearns. She steps into a three. Too strong. And Sarah Strong swats the rebound to herself. Did you see her juggle that? The right hand, the left hand is yeah, secure. Great eye hand coordination. What a block. Chen rejected by Hollenbeck, who's been impressive early. Well, this is an opportunity for Fort Hayes State not to just show up and they should enjoy the moment, but they have goals for their season, of course. Late whistle there. That was a late whistle. The foul's on El Alfie. Four Chen goes into the teeth of the defense at 6'3". Yeah. No, no. Long outstretched arms of the 6'3", Hollenbeck. Hollenbeck all conference for four straight years. She played in the game against UConn back in 2021 and had 10 points. UConn will make a substitution. Caden Samuels checks in for Caitlin Chen. And for Fort Hayes State, Alexa Weeder enters the game. Really good minutes by Chen. Beckers all the way. Just throws past Weeder. How about that court awareness, huh? Rude entrance for Weeder, who just checked in. She gets Paige Beckers. So it goes to Ghost on him. Strong gets out on the perimeter. Now Alfie on the switch. Paige Beckers comes away with a steal thanks to that pressure by Al Alfie. That's why you keep your hands up. You keep your hands up. You can deflect a pass. First personal, second team foul. 
Becker's a little yeah. hezzy. Yeah, great hesitation. You talk about having eyes in the back of your head, seeing the defense just wasn't ready and attacked. Zabel turns it over. Another steal for Hollenbeck. Ward Hayes stayed on the fast break. Hollenbeck with a second opportunity for the putback. Hollenbeck has four. Bill Saver going for the steal on Beckers, but she protects it. Yeah, Fort Hayes State has stepped up their pressure here. Beckers from the wing for three. And Pig said, I've had enough of that. 15 to 6, UConn. Nine points early for Page. Skip pass goes to the left corner for Stearns. Becker's the rebound. Caden Samuels the push. And she got tied up with Levy. You've got to be impressed with how Fort Hayes is playing defense. A terrific defense. Great job by Levy to just put her two hands on the ball and not go in there and swipe it and try to knock the ball away. Grab the ball. They're less likely to call a foul. As there, it was a jump ball. Shade tried to force it inside. Too hot for El Alfie to handle and a UConn turnover. I like the idea, though, passing away from the defense. El Alfie's got to get ready, but that's what I'm talking about with getting into game shape. She hasn't been in a, situ in a situation like this to catch the ball with someone on her back like that in the game in a long time. That's four turnovers by UConn in the opening quarter, and that's a three for Ooh. Ellie Stearns. That was better than three and a half per game last year. Final minute of the first quarter, Fort Hayes State hanging in there. It's 15 to 9, UConn. Shade for Strong. No good. UConn now 7 out of 18 from the floor. Not the best shooting numbers we've seen from UConn, but it's early in the season. It's not always pretty to start. Allenbeck with a drop step underneath El Alfie for two. It's a four-point game here in the first with 15 seconds to play. Khan can run there. End of the quarter set. Shade for Beckers, and she forces it inside. That's knocked away with 2.1 on the clock. Last touch by Ford Hayes. Well, it was a great job by Hollenbeck to have her hand in that passing lane to knock that ball out of bounds. Beckers to Samuels. And Caden Samuels cannot get it to fall. UConn struggled down the stretch of the opening quarter. Fort Hayes State really teed up in the second half of the quarter, and it's a four-point game through 10 minutes. Well, let's remember who was in there at the end. Paige Beckers went four for four with nine points, but the introduction to the newest Huskies here in the first quarter and you know three more quarters to go it was a rough start. Yeah, you know what it, it should be. You know it, it's it's not easy to come out and play with the expectations. But it's just, you know, one play at a time, one quarter at a time. Sarah Strong and Paige Beckers both hit the floor, forced the turnover. Caitlin Chen went 2 for 3 from the floor for four points. Let the hustle there by Sarah Strong and create that turnover. Strong lost it, but it ended up with Brady who finds Strong for a straightaway three in and out. Possession stays with UConn. Good hustle there by Ice Brady to maintain possession. Sarah Strong who Jamel Elliott saw play when she was in ninth grade back in the gym. Told Coach Oriyama, I think you got something down here in North Carolina. And Coach Oriyama says she could significantly change the trajectory of the program. Her oh, ability no to slow the game down, just the natural ability to slow it down. There she is on the offensive rebound off the Brady miss. Stripped from the ball by Hollenbeck. Hollenbeck. 
been impressive. Yeah, she's played really well inside early. Good active hands there without committing the foul. Navy swing pass ends up out of bounds. Weeder couldn't handle it. Unfortunate turnover there for Fort Hayes State. You can't have those unforced errors against UConn. What are you looking for here on this possession as they try to settle in? You've got to make sure Paige set. Beckers touches the ball every possession. Whether or not she gets the shot, you just got to make sure she touches the ball. Really has it yet here. There she is. Shade finds it with seven on the clock. Becker's four for four in the first quarter. The three. It's good. She'll make something good happen, whether for herself or one of her teammates. Through the contact and the elite ability to knock it down from wherever. 18-11 UConn. Gonna have a foul underneath after the weeder miss from three. Still saver knocked over. It's gonna be on strong. Beckers finally is gonna sit down and take a break. After knocking down that three on the other end. It's going to be important to get Becker's rest this year. She played far too many minutes last year because they needed her to. Right? They were so depleted with bodies. Allie Zabel back in for Paige Becker's after Strong commits her first personal and the team's first of the second. That's the sixth turnover by Fort Hayes State. Ashlyn Shade loses her handle. Lucky she didn't get an offensive foul there. That would have been number two three. quick ones, yeah. yeah. Maddie Powell out of Wake Forest, North Carolina. Try to work it inside of Holland Beck. Knocked out of bounds by Brady. Nice job by Brady being in that passing lane. Active feet, getting around on the high side. Knocked it away with the hand. Chen goes for the steal. Powell protects it and knocks down a three. That's just a really good play by Powell. Chen went for it. You got to give her that. Sometimes you, you, you go for it, you get burnt. Seven minutes to go in the first half. UConn leads by four over Fort Hayes State. In rhythm, Shade hits the three. That's what's going to open it up. When Shade can knock down open threes, that's what's going to make the biggest difference for this team. They've got to knock down open threes. Shot 36% from deep last year. Was third on the team at 11 points a game. Big East freshman of the year. Twenty-one fourteen, UConn along the baseline. Dill Saver too strong. Shade the rebound. Good you position there by Shade. Chen with a push. Brady looking to back down Holland Beck. Shade keeps the dribble low. Plenty of time on the shot clock still, and an open look for Zabel and another miss. Six minutes left in the opening half. The little runner is too short for Dill Saber. Offensive rebound, Stearns rejected by Strong. Well, the ball took a weird bounce, which is what allowed Fort Hayes State to get that offensive rebound, but Strong in the right place at the right time to block that shot. Beckers and Al Alfie back in for Strong and Brady.
Stearns with a catch and shoot. No good. Chen knocked the rebound, and then Alfie gives it away. Beckers that's, tips that's it out of bounds. Recognition by the young. Al Alfie, you've got to see that defender sneaking up behind Paige Beckers, and you can't make that outlet pass. Now Al Alfie goes for the steal and commits the foul going over the back of Weeder. Where you got to use your feet to get around. Good job by Weeder to maintain her positioning there to draw that foul. But Al Alfie's just got to be smarter. That's two on Al Alfie, two yeah. on the team, and now that's three on Al Alfie. Another foul. I think her hands did push her in the back. And you would think he would take her out of the game. She's saying. Well, again, it being an exhibition. Maybe this is an opportunity to work on playing in foul trouble should you be in that situation. Yeah, and also know that if you foul out, you're in big trouble. <laughs> that could be motivation, too. Shade with a steal. Out. She was a little timid going in with three fouls. Maybe the thought of committing a fourth on the offensive end altered her. The three from deep, no good from Ernie. Beckers the rebound. Interesting how quickly Beckers got put back into the game. Paige Beckers, perfect on the afternoon. She gets the friendly roll from the elbow. She's six for six from the floor for 14 points. Ward Hayes State now in a scoring drought over their last five. Shade off the window for two. Chen with the take. And Chen gets the basket. And some upper body strength there by Caitlin Chen. Caitlin Chen at almost 1,300 points in her time at Princeton. Deep three. Is good for it. It's Alexa Weeder. That's just a great shot by Weeder, and she was being guarded by El Alfi. I mean, that's obviously not where El Alfi wants to play defense, but not what you can do there. There's a three for Ali Zabel. Keep on shooting. The number seven <laughs> ranked recruit right. for me is. Can knock him down. She and looks like first. she's got no interest in stopping. No good from Weeder after she hit the three. Shade from Beckers rips a three. Back to back threes for the Huskies. You know, just a little thing there. Yeah. Shade got herself in position. A perfect pass from Beckers. So all she had to do was catch and shoot. To her right, the shot altered from Ernie. 6 0 run here for UConn behind those back to back threes. And Shane tries the lane for two. We say it all the time defense leads to offense for this program. A 15 to 3 run for UConn. Now they're opening up a big lead at a time. Three and a half minutes, including an 8 0 burst over the span of about 44 seconds. Opens up a 33 to 17. Lead for UConn as their offense starts to click. 
You know, you, you, we've seen this so many times over the years. They go through these spurts where they just step on their opponent's necks. It starts defensively, and when they start clicking on the offensive end, well, it can happen in a hurry, their lead. The steal by Sarah Strong. And she takes it all the way for two. That shows you how special this young lady is. At her height out on the perimeter at 6'2 to come around, steal the ball, and then finish on the other end. She's a special talent. Four points and six rebounds for Strong here in her debut with UConn. Till Saver driving. And Good weak side help from ball. Shade there to contest. Sarah Strong, they gave her the space. She's going to take it. You can tell she's feeling more comfortable. Just a different look to her now, you know, deep into the second quarter from when she started this game. 12 0 UConn run. And they lead by 20. Hollenbeck fading away against Strong. No good. Similarly, a different play by Hollenbeck, not going as strong as she did earlier. Shade with a little no look for Zabel. Little chemistry there on that exchange between Shade and Zabel. Knew she'd be right behind her. Gave her an open look. Strong hits the deck. Going up against Levy. Great help defense there by Sarah Strong. Looking so impressive on the defensive end of the floor. Great instincts. Great mechanics. The arrow favors Fort Hayes State, so they maintain possession here in the final minute 40 of the opening half. Here's, you see Gino waving his arms, telling the freshman Zabel, put your hands up, wave your hands, make it difficult for her to make a pass. Paige and Becker shows him how it's done. Absolutely. You know, you got to have pressure on the ball. You can't just let them stand there and make any pass they want. Really good defense will turn into just that, a shot clock violation. And Becker's really upped her defensive game. 51 blocks last year, 76 steals because she was forced to. <laughs> she was forced to play in the lane. Becker's another three. She's seven for seven in the first half. Three for three from downtown. She's got 17, and with one minute to go in the opening half, 40 to 17, UConn. Ernie, no good. The seventh rebound for Strong, who leads the team in boards. Paige Beckers, eight for eight. Can't miss. It's all about when she shoots the ball, too. She takes the right shots all the time. About seven seconds between the game clock and the shot clock, so UConn will look for the stop and the final points of the opening half. Dill Saber just heaves one up with her left. 19 and a half left here in the opening half, 12 on the shot clock. Out of bounds on UConn, but a steal on the inbounds play. Zabel read it. Anticipation earns her the steal. Yeah, that was really good defense there and that under out of bounds. If you're not careful, you give up an open layup. Six left in the opening half. Strong misses. And that's the half. So Beckers, she had the ball in her hand. I know they were talking about Paige Beckers just taking over. She elected to involve Strong. Makes the pass to Strong. They don't get the final points of the half, but Paige Beckers doing what she does. 19 points in the first half on a perfect eight for eight from the floor. Everyone involved. It was an outstanding second quarter, much better than the first, but they extended that lead because of their defense. Stay with us at the half. 42-17, we'll hear about in the land, the Yukon Huskies to the Final Four in 15 of their last 16 seasons. And 
showcasing some of the new players like Caitlin Chen, Sarah Strong. Of course, we haven't mentioned that AZ Fudd is returning from her ACL injury. Gina Oriama says she looks really good and he thinks it's a matter of time, but not yet. Caroline Ducharme's been practicing, increasing her workload, no contact yet. Morgan Shelley, a new player, in and out of practice this week, so not playing in the exhibition. And Aubrey Griffin working her way back from an ACL injury. Ice Brady for three to start the second half. No good. Rebound off the head of Bailey Wilborn. That's one way to earn a board. That's where to use your noggin. Alabex <laughs> underneath, open, but missed the layup. She did a really good job to create space and get herself open. Too bad it didn't fall in. But Chen with the turnover. The cross court pass stolen by Lady, who leads the fast break, and Dill Saver gets it to go despite the defense of Beckers. How about the arc on that ball for a layup? Impressive. UConn looking for their first points of the second half. That layup broke up a 17 0 run for UConn. Beckers misses for the first time today as her scoop goes off the rim. A wing three, no good for Ernie. Page with a rebound. He fires the pass to Shea for a quick release three, no good. Wilborn fumbles the dribble. Shade with a takeaway and the make. Great hustle there by Shay. Tanya Cardoza, UConn. His assistant stood up and was thinking she was fouled when she stole that ball. Well, the fans can settle in. After the shade layup. Strong ties up Dill Saber. Four days has the arrow in their favor. Shade with that last layup. Now into double figures. Joining Paige Beckers with 10 or more. Chen sticks with Dill Saver. Clock down to five for Fort Hayes State. Becker is defending Wilborn, and she doesn't get it off. Shot clock violation. I don't think there's anything that can make Gino Oriema happy than to see his team play so well defensively that they force the shot clock violation. Second time today the UConn defense has done so. Strong forces it. Looking for Brady as Chen fed her underneath. And Brady should have cut a little harder. Really good defense, though, by Fort Hayes. 
see. Holland back. Is fouled by Ice Brady underneath. Free throws coming for Olivia Hollenbeck. That's the second personal on Brady. And the first team foul of the third quarter on UConn. Two free throws coming for Holland Beck. Third team all MIAA last year. 69% free throw shooter last season. Goes one for two. And they won't be shooting against student sessions like the one they're going to shoot against. A gamble here in the second half. Brady, the high low underneath is strong. Well, there it is, Meg. A court connection for UConn that they hope you know, really and, develops. And Ice Brady is a really good passer. This could be the beginning of a really good one-two punch in the lane. Three no good from the wing for Wilborn. Paige Beckers with a rebound. Got six boards. Shade the pull up. Ooh, a little line drive. Wow. Down. That line drive actually defied physics. I'm not sure how <laughs> it went in. Shade's got 12. She's five for seven from the floor this afternoon. That's a th three for Bailey Wilborn. Hey, State has done a really good job with those skip passes. Creating that open three opportunity. UConn has got to work on their perimeter defense. Bailey Wilborn appeared in eight games last year and did not score. So those are her first points with Ford Hayes. Paige Beckers. 21 points now as she's open underneath. God's up over 50% from the floor. Now for the first time today. You get a stop underneath on Holland Beck. Chen to Page. No good, but Ice Brady's in. For the offensive rebound. And Beckers was in front of us. She was so mad she missed that three. Chen looking for. Page on the back door cut. Really good defense there by Dill Saver. Number 
Wilborn comes out and, and enter Ellie Stearns, junior guard, who averaged better than three and a half points a game last year. Beckers behind the back, no look. Strong to Chen, look at this ball movement. Shave for three. The sweetest basket of the day for UConn. That ball had to go in. You do all that, you missed the three. <laughs> Such great pass. Passing along the perimeter. Each pass more unselfish than the next. Levy loses it. Shade is fouled in the backcourt by Brooke Levy. We got to see that again. It started with Paige's no look behind the back pass. I think everybody got a touch. Great. Get it to go. That you know, that's one area as Dill Saver takes the three and misses. Offensive putback good for Talexa Weeder. It's one area that they say Sarah Strong has, you know, that ability to slow things down, no panic near the basket. I think it's a different story from the big crowd in UConn. Caitlin Chen hits the three. 56 25. Chen had 17 points against number six Kentucky in the NCAA tournament last year. 30 points in the Ivy League championship win over Columbia. Levy misses. Good hands there by Becker to track that ball down. Jen to Brady inside for Page. Open underneath for the bunny. Becker's is so good moving without the basketball, finding the open spot where she needs. Needs to be. Twenty three for Beckers. Ten for twelve from the floor for Page this afternoon. Chen reaches in and commits the foul. UConn slinging the rock. Getting everybody involved. That offense starting to click. It starts with Paige Beckers. But this was something sweet. And it ends at a three for Shane. Fifty-eight twenty. UConn goes to South Carolina.
Carolina to take on the defending national champions on the 16th of February. What a year ahead. So exciting. I can't, you know, nobody can wait for this season to get going in earnest. That should be a fun showdown in Hartford. Juju Watkins versus Paige. Yeah, already sold out. Kaden Samuels into the game. Her three is off. Off the mark. Al Alfie back on the floor. No. Basket. That's that gives you a glimpse of Jenna Al Alfie and what her capabilities are. Big strong presence, terrific hands in the lane, catches while getting fouled and finished, although the foul was called before the shot. She's incredibly talented. I was on Weeder, her first personal. Zabel no good on the three, but there's Al Alfie. For the putback. Just a, a nose for the basket. Ball, tracking down the offensive board, finishing with her left hand. So much incredible international experience at the 2023 FIBA U19 World Cup. 21 and a half points a game, 11 and a half. Half rebounds a game. The three goes for Ford Hayes. State and now 60 to 28. UConn leads it. Ernie knocking it down for the Tigers. That turnover there on Zabel was she stepped on the sideline. I thought the official was going to call a walk, which I was going to disagree with, but he saw that she stepped on the Sideline, very different call. And Ralphie's got to do a, a good job as she did there. She's got to use her feet. They're going to. She's already got a couple fouls. And that was the 11th. Turnover by UConn. It allows Levy to drive and score. And pick up a foul. Caitlin Chen commits it. And a potential three point play here for Brooke Levy. So that's only Chen's second foul. Al Alfie's got three fouls. Fouls. Three UConn team fouls here in the third. Levy completes the three point play. She's an excellent free throw shooter at 84.5% last year. It's funny, that was. Fort Hayes State has shot nine free throws. UConn has not shot any. In the first half, they didn't shoot one free throw.
working the perimeter. Shade with an air ball. Yeah, UConn hasn't been getting it in deep. They have attempted 23 three-pointers here with well, two minutes left. Their, their strength is their backcourt. Right? They've got basically three post players. You got Brady. Ice Brady and Sarah Strong started. Jenna Al Al Alfie comes off the bench. And that's it right now. Weeder hoists the three and misses. Terrific hustle. Stearns underneath. Save. Saved it, and we have a tie-up. Good hustle over on the far side by Ernie as well. So a couple of strong hustle plays by Fort Hayes State. Well, Fort Hayes State is a really great program. They're very well coached. They've got 13. straight 20 win seasons and they're the most consistent team in their conference over the last decade they've seen a lot they've played through a lot they play really hard Those 13 straight 20 win seasons, the longest at the division two level. Chen's pull up no good. Kaden Samuels and comes down what, with yeah, it and puts that's it That's what back. Samuels has got to do. Come in off the bench. Don't settle for just jacking up threes. Get in there, get an offensive rebound and put back. She can add depth. That's one of those players you look to think about what she did against NC State last year. 14 point day. And Shade did not start. An 18 point, nine rebound, three assists, two steal game against, against TMU. Now see, in, in this case, she gave up the shot in the corner. Okay, contested it, but then she didn't buy Box out, her player went for the rebound, and then Samuels was out of position and fouled her. If you do the right thing, contest, box out, this doesn't happen. These are the details. That's what today is for. Oh, yeah, the film will not lie. <laughs> Sasha Koenig. Who enters the game with a skip pass to Stearns. For three. You know, on that skip pass, it was a kind of a lob. Isabel's got to get out there fast. You got to move faster while the ball's in the air. Shades a little push shot off the front rim. Now, 25 seconds left in the third. About a second and a half between the shot clock and game. It's 
a late whistle. Gonna be on Al Alfie. That's personal foul number four on Jana Al Alfie. It was a late whistle. I thought she pushed her. Late whistle, though. Fourth personal foul. You got to keep your hands off their back. I mean, there's just no way. Puts Telex to got her. I think that's it was late. And the kid her she got displaced by L El Alfie, because she's so much bigger and stronger. Well, I understand mm -hmm. Jenna El Alfie. Mm -hmm. In her time returning from injury, she taught Coach Daly, CD, how to crochet. Yeah, she did. Her she time. is. She is one of the more truly famous. Fantastic humans you'll ever be around, Al Alfie. She's a great kid. It's a lot of fun to be around. Final seconds of the quarter. Samuels. And the question is, Samuels, why try to make That pass to Paige Beckers when she's got two players on her. Through three quarters. It's UConn with a big lead on Fort Hayes State. In their exhibition, the Huskies lead 62 to 30. Six time going 18 and 0 in Big East play. Of course, expected to be the number one in the Big East and the number two team in the AP. Expectations are always high here. They measure success in championships, yeah, and they're looking for number 12. They do, and, and the big thing is the regular season championship. That's what UConn really works towards. And yeah, the conference championship. You know, for most conferences, that determines who's going to the NCAs. But the, the regular season that proves that you've done it day in and day out that's really hard you know I talked on first night with AZ FUD about all the adversity they went through in the challenges last year and as they get depth and we've talked about how they are expected to be healthier and injuries are Are going to happen through the course of a college basketball season. If they're manageable. That run to the Final Four last year and that taste that they got coming so close and it coming down to a foul call in the last seconds and Iowa prevails. This year, I mean, there is just, I mean, there's always a fire to win. There's always a demand to win here, but you get that close with all that they faced last year. And Getting to the Final Four last year was a miracle. Yeah. Honestly. And they just weren't ready to win that game. Samuels to Chen for three. It's unfortunate for, for Fort Hayes State defensively. They have two players bump into each other and fall down, which allows 
allowed that possession to continue for UConn, and Chen was wide open. In the corner. Sixty-five thirty-six Yukon. Tell you, Paige Beckers is so good by boxing out defensively. That's where that experience last year really helped her. From the corner, strong. No good, Chen. Rips down the rebound. Beckers, little flip. Loader off the window for two. I got the sense that Beckers toyed with passing the ball down low. Oh, to Samuels, who was open, but smarter for her to shoot that ball. Hard for Samuels to do something that low. Oh. Beckers with a takeaway. Zabel. Pops. Missing an air ball. Chen saving it along the baseline. But taken away by Lowe. Good anticipation there by Strong to step around the offensive player and get in that passing lane to knock it out of bounds. Age Beckers with that last two up to 25. 11 for 13 and Chen. She hit a three in her last touch. She's got 12. She's the third in double figures, along with Shade, who has 15. And don't forget, no minutes today for KK Arnold, who right. twisted her ankle. I thought she would play. She told me before the game she was fine. Play. Probably a smart precaution to keep her out. Very likely to be in there Thursday night against BU and Hartford. Foul is on strong. It's a little too handsy. And then, you know, that, that's, and it's right in front of the official, but she's smart. Better than that, she knows she can't put her hands on the kid in that, in that spot. Two fouls on Strong. Well, she makes the adjustment. Yeah. Nice Terrific footwork there. Against Holland Beck. Yeah, you liked how she moved there. Well, Terrific. And, you know, in the low post, you've got to take two steps to every one step of your offensive player that you're guarding. Did a you got to keep your hands in the air and just body up. She did a really good job. Ellie Stearns commits the foul for Ford Hayes State. Her first personal.
first team foul. Page back. Into a double team, hangs and hits. She is so tough to guard. She reads screens so well. Well, she reads the floor. She knows how to get open. And she certainly knows how to finish. She scores from every part of the. Floor. That is 27 today for Paige Beckers. Twelve for fourteen from the floor. Nine rebounds as well. Well, so one board away from a double double. I would imagine this is her last departure from the game. Run the offense with Beckers on the bench, and Caden Samuels steps behind a strong on screen and nails it. Caden Samuels has five today. Seventy-two, thirty-six. Beckers. And Shade leading the way. Wow. How about those numbers? 23 of 31 won while everybody else is 8 for 30. And the travel on Fort Hayes State turns the ball over back to UConn. Under seven to play here in the fourth quarter. Strong with eight points today. Jab steps back to a three. Yeah, she's jabbed. And she said, why not? You're not guarding me. I'll take it. And they think they have something special for sure in Sarah. Strong comes from incredible basketball pedigree. Father Danny Strong played at NC State and her mom, Allison Feaster, a 10 year WNBA veteran with LA, Charlotte, Indiana, at Harvard doing historic things. As the three time Ivy Player of the Year, she led. Number 16, Harvard to the first 16 over one upset. Of Stanford, of course, now an executive of the Boston Celtics. And I, I remember when they beat Stanford. I don't think a 16 in the women's game has ever beaten the one. First time? Oh, yeah. Sarah Strong beginning her college career here at the University of Connecticut. It's a tough finish by Hopkins.
Going back, huh? Yeah. Beck's been good. She's got nine now. Six minutes to go. Ice Brady back on the floor. She replaces Strong. Shades open. No good. She looks to follow her shot, but low grabs it. Five thirty-eight UConn. Pull up from the free throw line, off the mark by Maddie Powell. Caden Samuels with the rebound. Brady running the motion offense. Samuels, high low, and she didn't put enough on it to and get Brady it to Brady. Brady was falling backwards. She was on her heel. You got to stand there and be strong. Chen goes for the steal. Stearns passes to Powell. Her three is no good. Chen has the rebound. Six boards for Chen. Zabel up fake. Back outside shade. Under five to go here in the fourth quarter of the. Exhibition. Samuels looking for another three. And we've got a foul. And some contact between Holland Beck and Brady. With 450. One to go. They're going to call the foul on Hollenbeck, so it's on Ford Hayes. Day. We're winding down the strip. And MSU Moorhead, and they travel to the Central Region Showcase. Adam State, MSU, Denver, Tabor College. Their first four games in the year. It's the number 23 team in the WBCA poll. Uh, Ice Brady got called. For a moving screen. Third personal. It's number three on Brady. The final. Four and a half minutes or so before. The Huskies host BU at the XL Center Thursday night. Smart pass there real. from Chen. Shade to Brady. No hesitation. Zabel open. For 
three. Samuels hits her with a pass. And UConn knocks down another from deep. Really good pass from Samuels. I just love that the freshman. Isabel, just keep shooting the ball. That's what you got to do. She put on an absolute show here. Right. She's First a great night. shooter. She struggled here today in this exhibition opener. But, you know, it's important for Gino that he wants his freshman to feel confident. Them double, you know, thinking about things too much. Another three. Samuels having her herself a second half. She's making the most of her. Minutes. That's what she's got to do. Come in, make things happen. Whether it's like we talked in the first half, offensive rebound and put back. Or knock down open shots. Eight points for Caden Samuel. He's on three of six shooting. Two for four from behind the arc. Nice hands there by Brady. Chen spins and misses. Samuel. The offensive rebound. And she draws a foul on that. Powell. 6 0 run for UConn. Great effort there by Samuels to not give up on the play. Chen wants that back. Wish. She would have knocked it down, but that's where the hustle comes in from Samuels off the bench. Five rebounds from Caden Samuels as well. Three assists. She's kind of scuffing the stat sheet, as they say. That's how you secure yourself minutes going forward. Just make things happen. You don't have to do anything spectacular. You have to get in the double figures here from the free throw line. It's Colin. Got 10. And what has she played? 15 minutes? Yep, exactly 15. <laughs> Great productivity for Samuels off the bench. Foul, free throw line. Extended misses. There's Samuels crashing again. Good but strong yeah. the rebound. Good strong rebound by Brady, but I love the effort by Samuels. Flying through the air. They're feeding her! Caden Samuels drives to the rim for two more. Four for 
6-7 from the floor for 12 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, and a couple of made free throws. The foul there on Chen, fighting <laughs> through that screen. She pushed the screener. A little too hard. You got to slide right through that. So taking a look at Thursday, it's Caden Samuels, what she does today. Does that maybe affect her minutes? Did she earn herself some minutes, perhaps, on Thursday night? You know, perhaps, but I think what will really determine it is, is practice this week. Right. But all of this stuff helps, and if, if nothing... ...else is going to give her confidence in her ability to... then she'll probably have a better mindset going into practice this week. What a different mentality, I guess it is, than the last, you know, few years. Maybe not at this point. That's going to count. That's a basket for Low and the foul. But to Be in a position where there's a healthy competition for minutes rather than how are we going to get seven bodies on yeah, the bench. Last year was miserable. I mean, to, to not have half a your team to injury, you know, just the mental toll, the physical and emotional toll. It, it's a, it's a, it's like a breath of fresh air for this group and for this coaching staff. But try Trust me, if they're not taking any of it for granted. That last foul was on Samuel. Chen! A little hesitation move to come. Two more for Chen. She's got four. This kid transferring in from Princeton has just fit in seamlessly with this team in this program. 87 of 40. Think about what Chen did in the Ivy League. Sort of reminds you of what. Hey, she almost beat UConn when they played here last year. Count that basket. It's good for Sarah Law. And the foul. Thinking about the comparison with Chen. You know, there's the potential. Maybe like a Lou Lopez Seneschal, which she did at Fairfield in a mid. Major. And it transferred. She had an excellent one year.
here at UConn. So I think that if you're the UConn staff and fans, you're hoping for a similar season from Chen. And she has indicated nothing otherwise. She's just steady, smart, you know, the experience. When you when you can add an experience back court player, that makes such a difference. The bell off the mark. Allow the rebound. That last foul, by the way. Committed by Brady. Or at Hayes State unable to take advantage of a three. Three point play. Shade hangs, it spins out. Alfie fighting for that rebound, but she draws a foul. I really like that Oriama put her back in the game. Tell Alfie with the four fouls. She looked pretty dejected over there in the vents, and, and then just the hustle. Play. Play right there, and if she can score, just ups her confidence a bit. Gaden Samuel misses the three. Now, Alfie limited to 10 minutes, and I know there were some frustrating moments. She's still going to finish. With nine rebounds from the corner, a three for Sasha Kane. How about the bench reaction there by Fort Hayes State? Love it. Pick and roll. Rolls a bell to her left. The teardrop. Eighty-nine. Forty-five. UConn. I did not see UConn drop an eighty-nine today. after that first quarter. Powell. The pull up jump shot is good. Maybe one more chance. It's here for UConn to run their offense. Chen misses the three. Four. He's so fundamentally sound, still boxing out, still executing. That was Callie Ott on the rebound, getting some late minutes. A freshman from Omaha, Nebraska. Good. Getting her feet wet here in the exhibition. 
Underneath to Sarah Lawless. And her up and under is good on El Alfi. You know, smart move there by El Alfi. She's got four fouls. She doesn't want to foul out, bringing that arm down. Just leave him up. And make the kid make a tough shot, which she did. The two fouls. 24-25 UConn Huskies debut here at Campbell with a win in their exhibition over Division Two Fort Hayes State final score UConn 89 Fort Hayes State. A 40-point win for UConn. And now we turn our attention to Thursday night when it begins for real against BU in downtown Hartford. You know, the, the, nothing this... The This team will love more than actually playing a game. This gave them a taste of it as an extra.